Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do another January reading. So this is just a January update. I already did one and I'll tag it to the end. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up. I'm going to get one of these. Oh, that, if he, what, is that your card? It is. It is. Amazing how that happens, huh? So you guys have to be patient. You have to be patient. Something that was planted a long time ago is coming to fruition. It is growing. It's growing, okay? There's the seed and it's growing. So something is coming to fruition. Um, may have taken a while or you may have just planted the seed and you need to wait for it to grow. That didn't grow overnight. It didn't grow overnight. It took time. It had to be nurtured. It had to be watered. It needed light. It needed uh, time. So while you are planting new seeds this month, or whether you planted them last month, it's growing. It's growing, okay? Be patient. Try not to get frustrated. You're evolving, and it takes time. It takes time to evolve, Sagittarius. It takes time to blossom. It takes time to open up. It takes time for that beauty, that, that um, miracle to happen. Divine timing. And you know all about that, right? You do. But we all sometimes get lost. We get lost with waiting, watching that clock, waiting, waiting, waiting. No more watching the clock. No more, no more waiting. Believe, believe in divine timing, okay? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know for January? I've been making you guys wait for your reading, haven't I? Patience. And maybe that's a message for you. I mean, it is obviously a message for you. You gotta wait. You have to wait for the good things. All good things take time. Anything that comes into your life impulsively or overnight or is instant gratification usually is just for a minute. It doesn't last. You need to let go of something. The Four of Pentacles reversed. It, something needs it needs to be let go of. It could be an addiction as well because, I mean, the Temperance card can signify um, going overboard. Extremes. You know, something needs to be let go of. It's weighing you down. Something is weighing you down. It's It's hindering your... Security, put it that way, your stability, because it's too heavy. You need to let something go that you really can't, you can't save it anymore. You can't bank on it. It's not, it's holding you back, okay? Something that you are holding on to is holding you back. <laughs> really, really, seriously, you know, it's like you guys have tried and tried and tried and tried to hang on to something. And you can't anymore. You also need to let go of your doubts and your fears. Let go of those. They don't serve you for any reason. They're just doubts. They're thoughts. They're fears. They're, they're thoughts. You need to take charge. You need to take control of your life. 
You are in charge. You're the boss. You need to dominate. The only way to do that is take control. You take control. You have the ability, you have the knowledge, you have the skills, you have everything it takes to change a direction, to do whatever you want. You are the boss. But there's some doubts here, there's some fears here, I don't want to let go of something. All you got to do is take back that power, take back that control, regain control, take control, dominate But <laughs> you're spending too much time thinking about it. Too much time in limbo. Too much time in suspension. Because you don't want to face some sort of struggle. The hangman does not want to face struggle. Does not want to make any changes. Doesn't think he has to make any changes. You have to make a change. And it might be uncomfortable. And a lot of you might not even want to hear this. You're like, no, I don't have to make any changes. Well, if you've got that mindset, then you're screwed. It's all about evolving. With days, with months, with years, we evolve. We change. And you have to face it. You have to. You have to. Something needs to change that is weighing you down. Something is weighing you down and you need to take control of the situation. You're allowing yourself to be stuck. You're allowing yourself to be in limbo. And don't be mad at me for not coddling you. People that enable another person, they aren't helpful. They aren't. Those people aren't really your friends if they're enabling you. Trust me, they're not. They're enabling you because they don't want to deal with it. It's easier for them. So they'll do whatever they can just to get you out of their hair. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to get you unstuck. I'm here to help you find your ability to take control. I'm here to help you to release something that has been heavily weighing you down. I'm not here to hold your hand and be your friend. Sorry. I'm sure you guys don't want to be mine either, so we're on the same page. Um, you're stuck. You are absolutely 100% stuck. Reluctant to move on, reluctant to transition, reluctant to make any changes. If you don't make changes, then, <laughs> then you're going to have a tough 2019. It's going to be tough. You have to enjoy what you have. Enjoy yourself. Work on yourself. Work on your independence. Work on your abundance. Work on yourself. Put yourself first. It's all about you and nobody else. Nobody can make you happy but you. You are in charge of your happiness. Nobody else. You are in charge of your own happiness. And that's the truth. You got to protect yourself. You have to protect yourself. But right now you're stuck. You're going backwards. You're going backwards because you don't want to change anything. I don't want to change. I don't want to move. I, I'm not free will. I'm not using your free will to change your course. The wheel of fortune upright is a change of course. This is reversed. I'm stuck. I don't want to make any changes. I don't want to change my course because I think I'm doing everything right. You need to reevaluate. Six is a reevaluation. You, you need to reevaluate. Something is weighing you down. And you can live in denial if you want. You can refuse to transition. Well, then you're going to repeat. You're going to repeat. Is that what you want? Do you want to repeat the last year? Is that what you want? <laughs> Six is like I said, the time of reevaluation. Re you know, you're in a situation that 
is unstable. You're not getting what you deserve and it's because you're not taking charge. You're not receiving the stability and the security that you that you truly, truly deserve because you have to put yourself first. Nobody's going to take care of you. You have to take care of yourself. You may be rejecting rejecting help from another person. You're rejecting change. Rejecting moving on. Reject rejecting transformation. Rejecting transformation. I don't want to let go of something. Well, I think there for some of you there's some sort of habit or addiction that is holding you back. You're not being grounded. You're not thinking realistically. You're not being practical. And not being very responsible either. And I'm sorry. Somebody is not acting responsibly. They don't want to do the work. Reverse. I don't want to do the work. I don't want to do the work. I want it to come easy. It ain't going to come easy. Abundance does not come easy. Trust me. Trust me, I know. You need to realize that you have a better option, and I think that you may be starting to. You may be at the at the uh, verge of making a change. You may be like, you know, yeah, I do. I do know that I have another opportunity. I have something better that will be more emotionally fulfilling to me. But I, in order for me to accept this opportunity, I'm gonna have to look at it. I'm really gonna have to accept it. I'm going to have to stop focusing on what was. Or what I know. Or how it used to be. It's time for you to recover. It's time for a recovery. And maybe, I mean, I don't know, that recovery is needed. It's time for your recovery. It's time for you to find your abundance again. On your own. The main message here is on your own. And believe me, you are on your own. You're on your own, Sagittarius. <clears throat> There's an opportunity for abundance here. Independence is an opportunity for you to go out on your own and take care of business. You may be hanging on to a one-sided situation. This is a one-sided situation that is hindering your success. No shit. No shit. Now, when I say habits or addictions, habit or addiction, that could be food. It could be eating too much. It could be alcohol. It could be drugs. It could be spending. It could be codependency. It could be anything. There's so many. Something is hindering your success. It could be another person. That's codependency in a person. Something is one something. You're not getting any reward for engaging in it. Whatever it is, you're really not. It's causing a huge loss. It is. You need to face your own insecurities. You need to face your own um, reality. And somebody's not being realistic here. I can tell you what. With the Queen of Pentacles reversed, it's not realistic. You're hanging on to something that is keeping you, bringing you backwards. And it's because you are stubbornly, I, look at the look on his face, I will not make a change. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. All right. 
Keep doing that. You really you the wheel of fortune upright is good fortune. Good luck. This is um receiving something really good in the upright. It's reverse. Oh you, Okay. Fine. Be this way. Be this way. You don't get anything good out of it. You don't. Be stubborn. Get nothing. It's time to recover. It's time to realize that you have something better, but you're going to have to be realistic and you're going to have to be, you know, grounded. You're going to have to come back down to reality and you're going to have to make a change. You're going to have to take charge. You're going to have to be the boss. You're going to have to be the leader here. You lead your own life. Oh, God. It's like there's difficulty in communication here. There's unexpected conflict that you call into your life. And it's because it's like everything is you're always in defense mode, always trying to defend yourself. And somebody may be sticking their nose in somebody else's business and getting themselves in trouble when they can't, they shouldn't even be talking. People that live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. There's a battle here. There's a inner, and it's an inner battle. I mean, there is an inner battle here that is causing battles with other people. It's a self-image problem. And it's time. It's time for you to leave that pain behind. Like I said, it's a self-image problem. There's something that there's something that you feel inside of yourself that is mentally impacting your ability to make a change, which is really common, right? Uh, but this is denial. Somebody is in <laughs> two of swords is denial, avoiding the truth. I don't want to see the truth. And that plays right out with this hangman right here. And it does. I don't want to see the truth. I don't want to hear the truth. I just soon pretend it's not happening. You can't pretend. The truth is the truth. Twos are about change. They're about choices. They are. Something needs to change. And there's only one person that can do it right in the middle of the reading. It's you. It looks like you are probably in the process of making some sort of change or you're thinking about making a change. You're thinking about it. You're still thinking. You ain't. It's like you haven't done it yet. You're just thinking about it. If somebody is in complete denial, don't want to, is stubborn as hell. Hindering their success, hindering their, you know, reward because when the wheel spins, it changes your life for the better, but you're not allowing it because you're so stubborn. It's like, I know, I know. This is, I know what I know. <laughs> Nobody really knows. I mean, we don't know it all. Nobody knows it all. Yeah, so there's it's constant. It's a constant fight, and I think that, that we have a lot of fighting here. And I think it's because you're you. I mean, take a look at that. There's a lot of fighting going on because you always feel the need to defend yourself. You always need the, the feel the need to prove yourself. That's a self image problem. If you gotta continue to prove yourself to everybody else, then that's a that's an image problem. It is. A lot of a lot of fighting going on here. A lot, a lot of fight, a lot of fighting going on. You don't even need to engage. Walk away. Stop fighting. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away from the trauma. Walk away from the from the conflict. Walk away from the situation that is unreal.
You're fighting for no reason. It is. Don't sweat the small stuff. Let the small stuff go. Enjoy life as it is. If it's if it's it's not worth fighting for, there's nothing worth fighting for or defending yourself over. Turn your back on that shit. Ah, painful. Turn your back on that shit. Turn your back on that shit. Did you hear what I said? It's time for you to take care of you. It's time for you to take the power in your own hands. To accept the truth that you have tried to block... And leave the hurt behind. It's time to change your life. It's time to evolve. It's your turn. Leave the pain behind. And I have to tell you, it may bring you tears. It may bring you sweat. And it's definitely going to be painful. But you have to love yourself. You have to do what's right for you. You have to put yourself first. You have to treat yourself with respect. Because if you don't respect yourself, nobody else is going to respect you either. It's time to stop holding on to something stubbornly holding on to something that is not serving you just because you don't want to be alone or whatever the case is. Somebody's holding on to something that is hindering some, a good fortune, a no shit, a reward. You've got to find the mental strength to let something go or you don't receive that reward. That's the truth. Plant that seed right now in January and it will grow. It will grow by spring, okay? But you got to make that move. And that's what I have, Sagittarius. Good luck.